Game day! Previously on Ready to Die. Charleston Chew, an underrated candy bar. This is a Charleston Classic, Towson against Xavier. Juan Gray from Towson. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, family? It's the real one here. And it's the best day of the week. Game day. Are you not entertained? It's game day today, baby. This is a big game for us. We're playing one of the best teams in the league. And we owe them too because the last game they beat us. So we prepared. So I'm going to bring y'all with me on my game day routine. I'm going to take y'all on the inside of what it's like being a pro athlete. Shh. Don't tell nobody. If you're new to the channel, I just want to introduce myself. I'm playing professional basketball currently in Sweden right now for the next four months. Click the subscribe button so you can join the journey with me and also experience the European life. And with that being said, it's time for shoot around. Fam, it is freezing outside. It's currently like 35 degrees. I don't have any gloves, so my hands and fingers are freezing. I've only been outside for a minute and I feel like they're about to fall off. But on my way to shoot around, on my nice little nifty bike, I gotta get used to this cold weather out here in Sweden, yo, because this ain't it, man.
I'm back from shoot around. Had a nice little hour of getting up some game shots, preparing for the game tonight, going over our scout, our schemes. Feeling like we're well prepared for the game tonight. Coach put us in the best position for us to get a win, and that's all that matters. So right now I'm currently going to lunch because you know you can't compete at a high level on an empty stomach. So we going to lunch right now. Let's see what these eats are talking about. I just got back to the crib from shoot around and from lunch. So now what's next on my agenda is to take a pregame nap. That being said, I'm gonna see y'all once I wake up. I'm back from the dead. Last y'all seen, I took a nap, but now it's time to get ready for the game. Of all days, which is crazy, I actually have to go to this event before the game. It's at the local bar, which is Harry's. And I have just had to go over there for a little bit just to mingle with some of the fans, you know, shake hands, kiss some babies, politic and all that good stuff. So it's my first time doing that. So I'm about to head over there. But enough of the rambling. Let me go ahead and get dressed and we out to the sponsorship event. Although it is very brick outside, the good thing about walking is that I get to admire the city and it is Christmas time. It's December 2nd. And look at these decorations they got around the city. Yeah, so you gotta take the good with the bad. But the bad part is that I'm walking. It's cold outside. See, look, get some more lights. But I'm walking. It's cold outside. And it's only 4 p.m. and it's dark out here like this. What? It's crazy. You know, um, this is my first time actually being abroad, and I feel like the first day I got here, I've had my teammates and just the people in shopping have been extremely, you know, um, encouraging, and they're welcoming me and my wife with open arms into the city. So I'm loving my experience out here. What is the best part of playing as a professional? I would say the best part of playing as a professional would be. That's cliche, the sound you actually get to be professional. In the last uh, few years, I was playing college basketball, so in terms of playing at a high level, you also had to do things outside of basketball, which is go to class and go to study hall and go to all these different meetings outside of basketball. But I feel like now, I actually have a lot more time to just focus on uh, being the best version of myself and also competing at a high level. So I say that's the best part. What's the worst part? Nothing. <laughs> what is your role today in this game? The role that I have, you know, starting from the beginning of the season, is just to be a defensive presence and also to rebound the basketball. And I feel like um, these past few games I've been able to do that at a, a higher level than I've been playing at before. So there's nothing new on the script. I'm just going to keep playing hard, uh, bringing my team energy, defending and rebounding, and staying aggressive. 
um, on both sides of the basketball. So. Okay, if you want great. y'all can see by my morale we lost the game Bruh. but that's just how things are sometimes you win some you lose some and that was a very good team that we played they're top in the league so credit to them i finished with 14.7 boards and that wasn't enough so gotta go back to the drawing board and look at the things that i could have done better look at the mistakes i made so i can fix it for next game that's what I got for y'all, man. If you're an athlete and you're watching this video, it's important to have a game day routine to eliminate you know, your nervousness and the anxiety that you feel before the games. Like you might have a little bit of butterflies, but you shouldn't get to the point where you're so psyched out that you, it's gonna be hard to focus on the game. So set up a pre-game routine and thank y'all for watching this video and being on this journey with me in Sweden. So till next time, y'all, Juan out of here. Peace, love, enjoy your day, your evening, your night, your morning, whatever time you're watching this. Peace out, y'all.